Hi everyone, and in this one what we want to do is we want to continue where we left off. We set up our threat model in the previous pre episode. And what we want to do now is we just want to set up our migrations right here. Right, so as you can see our protected fillable, we got our subject, body, category ID and author's ID right here. So what we want to do is we want to set up that relations and all that tables basically in our schema right here. Right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a table uh, for a string and that's going to be for our subject. All right, so you can obviously, that can be a title. You can actually, instead of naming it uh, subject, you can actually just change this to title like this. Let's just change it to title. Okay, so let's just change it to title like this. All right, so title and the next one, what we want to do is we just, we don't want the users to be able to type too long of a tag. So we're just going to keep it a plain text right here. All right, so we just limit the amount of characters because you have tags, you've got medium tags, and you've got long tags. Long tags, I would normally recommend if you guys want to, let's say you've got an article and users kind of a blog post or something like that, I will normally use a long text. But for if you just want users to write a minimum amount of characters, I will use the text obviously. But what you can do, you can obviously add that with validation as well. But for us, let's just stick to the tap plain text and we just want to add the body. So this is going to be the body. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it like this. And the next one we want to do is we want to add a slug as well. So let's just table. And this is going to be a string. And it's going to be a slug. All right, so let's go to our table right here. And we obviously add the slug in as well. So now we need to add our two foreign keys. Remember, the one is that it belongs to relationships, the one is for the category ID because this is a belongs to. So it's expecting a user ID like this, a category ID, sorry. It will suffix the basically the category with an ID. All right, so it's expecting a category ID. And the other one is the author ID. All right, so let's just create those two. All right, so the first one is the foreign. I'm just separating, just giving us some space right there. Um, this needs to be a table. Come on, for an ID. So, all right, so this is basically going to be the author ID. Let's just put the author ID first. And we just want to constrain that to the user's table. Okay, so we always want to have, there must be an author. So, I don't want it to be nullable. Okay, the next part is the table is the category ID. So, that is also going to be, so for an ID. And this is going also must be filled in, so it cannot be null. Otherwise, we don't know what to do with that author, with that person's. And this must be constrained to categories. Okay, All right. So otherwise, we won't know where to put that person's thread. Okay, so I just don't want to copy it. I just want to move it just above the timestamps. All right. So we got those two fields right there. Okay. So we got our author ID in our category ID. All right, so that's all that we want to do right there. All right, so what we want to do now is we just want to migrate the database and just reseed it. Okay. Okay, so let me just check how the, everything is set up because the category ID needs to be above the threads ID. Otherwise, we're going to get in foreign key in corrective form. Let's see our threads is here. As you can see, our categories are on top, so we won't get that error, and obviously our users is on top as well. All right, so let's do PHP artisan migrate fresh and dash dash seed. I just want to do that as well. All right, and I'm not going to create the thread seeder in this one. We just want to, yeah. Okay, then we just press enter. Okay, so then it runs the database and it set it completely. All right, so that's done. All right, so we're obviously going to create a thread seeder, but for now, we're not going to. All right, 
Thank you guys. Uh, let's see if everything is migrated. The database right there. As we go to the forum. As you can see, we've got our threads table right here. And you can see title, body, select, author ID, category ID. So we've got those two right there. Created, add, and updated it. All right. So what I want to do in order to create a threads, Cedar. We need actually a users because we want to associate a user with the author ID and the category ID. You know what? We still have that. Let's create a thread Cedar. All right. So what I want to do is I want to go to our users Cedar right there and I want to increase that to 10. All right. So let's quickly create a um, thread stable Cedar. So PHP artisan make seed and we just want to create a thread table cedar okay so let, let's create it so if we go to the thread table cedar right here what i want to do i want to actually create a couple of uh, threads all right so let's go to cedars all right so now the first thing that i want to do is i want to actually create a factory as well so let's see All right so let's quickly do that so php artisan make a factory or right, do we want to do a thread factor like this so i'm just kind of rushing because of time so enough factory right there we've got our user factory and we want to thread factory right there as you can see we've got our model for our class right here now the thing is under the definition what we want to do now is we want to actually create return all the things that the, we want this factory to do so obviously we change it to title so the title um let's do we got faker so we're going to use this uh, faker to actually create some text for us so text and i'm just going to create let's say 30 30 characters okay so then i'm going to put a comma right there and the next one is the body okay so the body i want that to be this faker and the body the faker that will be a paragraph okay so how many paragraphs i want let's say three now just two two paragraphs and true Okay, and the next part is we want to do the slug, just a random slug as well. I don't want there to be a semicolon, just a comma. And this will be this. This faker, unique. It must be a unique, and then we just want to do a slug. And a comma again now this is going to be the author id author id let's move this a little bit up the reason why i'm doing this is just to create space so that you guys can easily see things all right so the next one is the author id that will be attributes okay attributes an array and it will be the author author id if that question mark all right so if it's not available so basically if it is there if it's not available please use the user okay factory factory and basically what we want to do is use the user factory then we want to create id so basically, if it's not, just create a new user. Okay. And then we assign that ID in here. Okay. The next one is obviously the category ID. So category ID. And I just want to put a random number for the category ID. So random. Okay. So that will be from one to five. Let's see the cedars, factories, categories. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight in there. So a random number between one and eight. Okay. So just assign that to this. Okay. So that's basically our factory. So in our seeder for our threads right here, what we want to do now is we want to create that thread. Okay. So thread factory. Okay. Count, let's say we want to create 50. Okay. And then, hmm. okay, so let's say create author ID. We create 10 users. So, what we want to do is that must be a random number between 1 and 8. Okay, so 1 and 8. Let's just create an array like this and just do that. Right, so a thread is in there. I just want to make sure that everything's imported. I don't want to get any errors. Okay, just make sure the user is imported at the top. And go to our database seeder right here and obviously call that thread stable seeder. Threads table seeder. Okay. Let's do the migrations again and hopefully everything works. It's probably going to get an error. Yes. See the class not found in our. Which one? Oh, yes. Okay, let's go there. Which one? This one right here. We just need to imp make sure that we import it at the top. Otherwise, provide the full namespace right there. Okay, let's see that again. The integrity violation thing just came because. Because we only have seven and not six, but not eight, sorry. That's why we're getting that error. So if we go to our threads table, let's go to our factory. No, not that. Let's go to our thread factory. Let's go to categories right here. All right, so what we have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only got seven. That's why we're getting that error. So random number one to seven. So if we do that again, PHP artisan uh, migrate fresh does this seed. Okay. So if we do that, everything goes well. All right. So let's go and see the database, what it looks like. So if we refresh right here, you will see we seeded the database. As you can see, it assigned random categories and it's assigned a uh, author ID. Why did it only assign that? Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I, I don't have the time to actually try and figure it out. So let's just go to our threads factory right here and just assign a random. Let's copy this. And I'm just going to do this. Grand from three and nine. Okay. Just like that. So let's do that again. Okay. So it seeded everything. Okay. And the refresh. I just don't want the one author to be there. So as you can see, it assigned a random author to all the different threads. Okay. Right there. Right, so that's it for this lesson. So we actually set up our migration. We actually seeded the database. As you can see, all the categories and everything is in there. All right, so what we're going to do in the next episode is we will display all these threads basically in our database right here. So if we in our view, so if we go to the forum right here, so all of this will display. We bring in all that post and assign them to every, all the different categories all right so thank you guys for watching if you like it please give it a like if you don't a dislike positive or negative feedback is appreciated in the comment section and if you have any questions please leave it in there and see if we can maybe help you okay thank you guys and yes it's a pleasure making these videos for you so hopefully you find it useful and yes yeah, some of the things i still need to just 
I'm just trying to figure out how to make it the best for you guys to learn and stuff like that. We're obviously going to add the comments and the likes and all that kind of stuff as we go along. And yes. All right. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Goodbye.